since Elden Ring's release, greatswords have been that weapon class where you can't really go wrong with using one. However, it just always felt like there were better options out there. Well, that's at least how it felt until patch 1.09 came out and greatswords got speed, range, and recovery time buffs. The setup that I have today is a heavy iron greatsword with sword dance, and then in my offhand I have a finger seal, which I will use to cast a black flame blade on the iron greatsword. As for my armor, I have the full knight's cavalry set with the helm and the armor altered. If you want to see my stats and my talismans, both will be on screen. Now let's go intimidate some fools in some duels. Oh, and if you want a sneak peek at my next cosplay video, make sure that you watch till the end. Now you guys might be sitting here wondering, Monk, why in the hell are you using Black Flame Blade? And also, if you're using it, why aren't you using the God Slayer Seal? Well, for one, the God Slayer Seal does not buff this incantation. It doesn't buff the buff, I guess you could say. And second, this is pretty much for thematic purposes. However, whenever you start getting multiple hits in, you see that chip damage? Well, if you get successive hits, you're just going to keep progressively getting chip damage, and it's it, it can result into a decent amount. It's not bad. The only issue with Black Flame Blade is how short this buff lasts. Even with Old Lord Talisman, it lasts like, what, nine seconds or something? Good fight, Deacon. But I mean, thematically, come on. Like, look at this. You can't tell me this is not sick. Ooh, already at like a thousand damage not bad oh good backstab that was nice oh went forward again oh what Watch that. Oh, let's go. The plan worked. GG, man. Oh, and just a quick little pro tip. If you roll and then apply Black Flame Blade, it will apply faster. And also right there was kind of a prime example of where the Black Flame stuff comes in handy, whether it's Malachus Black Blade, the Black Knife, Gargoyle Black Blade, or just this weapon buff. When your opponent is low, you can do the chip damage even through rolls. So if you just need that last tiny bit of health, Black Flame stuff is a great way to go. What? Um. Hey, I don't think this is what, uh. What? What? I. Okay? You really can feel the difference in the great swords now. Your attacks are so much faster, you got more range. This feels so reliable. Bonfire. All right. Oh. Nice. Oh. Okay. That was an okay trade. Try to hit Swords Dance here. Dude, he bit on the backstab. Good fight. But there are 20 great swords in this game total. Any build you want to use, you can find a great sword for it. And especially now, whatever great sword you use, it's it's going to be reliable. Okay, let's make a deal. I vaporized this man out of existence. You click the subscribe. We got a deal. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh. Look at that damage. That's big boy damage right there. Good fight. 
Another reliable Ash of War that you can use on this build that I will showcase real quick is Piercing Fang. It is very, very strong on greatsword builds. You'll probably see people with Claymore running it, people with Knight's Greatsword running it. It's it, it's very, very good. Ooh, House Dock, okay. Ooh. The distance that you get on it is so nuts. Like damn near half the arena. Good fight, Arcades. But really, great swords have a very nice assortment of Ashes of War. There's no shortage of good ones. But overall, for this build specifically, if you want really, really nice damage, I would go with Sword Dance. All right, we got into a 3v3. Oh, hey, it's the boy Reinhardt. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, oh well, I... no, 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 no. <laughs> What is up with all these mages, man? Oh god. I don't like this. Oh no. Oh my god, the Moon Veil duel. <laughs> so beautiful. Riveting gameplay. Well, GG. God, that magic spam got really intense at one point. Hello, friends. Hey. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, we, we doing this? Am I gonna get ganked? You guys gonna 1v1 me? What's going on? Okay, it's gonna be a gank. Fair enough. Okay, uh, was that the host? Was that? <laughs> uh, I could have sent you guys up there, but you're lucky. God, man, Swords Dance is really just such a useful Ash of War, especially on Get Up. You can roll catch the hell out of people. And since I'm such a sucker for just edgy builds and edgy characters in general, I mean, this is probably my favorite build thematically that I've ever made. Or I don't know about ever, but it's definitely up there. Ooh, Shaded Castle Invasion. I like this. This is exciting. Oh my god. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Oh god, yeah, this is not good. Oh, wow. Oh man, this is not good. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I win. That's me, boy. You gotta protect your host. GG's. I, oh, wait. Oh, what? Oh, there's a second one. Is this really an Insha gank right now?
Oh, I have a friend. Yes. Please, the Rook, help me with these Inshas. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go, Rook. Okay, wait, so how am I going to get in here? That's what I'm wondering. Am I going to have to go platformer pro? There's no way I can drop off this and survive. Hey! 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 Okay, hold on. I'm going to try something. Oh my god. That actually worked. No. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, okay, okay. You want to take it to the roof now. Okay. We can get vertical, bro. Oh, where are you going? Where are you running off to? You don't want to fight? You don't want to fight me anymore? Okay, there's one down. Now, where's the host? Hello, host. Well, uh, GG's. All right, let's get down to brass tacks here. My rating for this build is a nine out of 10. The heavy iron greatsword plus black flame blade combo, I think is actually very, very useful. I know the buff doesn't last that long, but if you roll and then buff, you can apply it very, very quickly. Actually, wait, does this work with back steps? It does. So yeah, it's quick to apply, you get some solid chip damage out of it, but then on top of that, you tack on a weapon art like Sword Dance, and if you hit the first two hits, or maybe all three hits, you're looking at about 1000 to 1600 damage, including chip. And I'll say it again, great swords are a force to be reckoned with. There are plenty of great swords in the game after this last patch. All of them are better. There is something for everybody in the greatsword weapon class. At the end of the day, though, this is just my take. If you have any thoughts on greatswords, or this build, or on the last patch as a whole, make sure to comment them down below. If you enjoyed the video, press that like button, subscribe, noti bell. Oh, wait, I almost forgot.